guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed. And today we're going to take a look at the Red Wiggler only bin. Now this is the newer of the two bins. And so we're going to take a look in. We fed some melon uh, in this bin today. The top looks a little dry. I didn't have the lid on very tight. Going to have to put that on a little bit tighter this next time. Still seeing quite a bit of springtails. Um, but here's our melon. And let's see what the melon has accomplished. It's uh, molding a little bit there. Usually doesn't last long enough to mold. I have to wonder if there wasn't something else. Looks like the banana is still hanging in there. But let's let's see. I bet we got most of the the worms from the bin here. I'm just making a mess. So it's not a lot, um, but let's let's move the food down to one corner here and see what else we've got in this bin. Need to churn it over and get that dry bedding incorporated. I think the rest of the bin is a really good moisture. For anybody who hasn't seen potworms and wonders what they look like. This is a good example. This looks like it's a pepper or something, but these aren't regular worms. These are potworms, and you can tell the difference between potworms and regular worms that are babies in that they are snow white, whereas normal red wiggler or European nightcrawler, blue worm, African nightcrawler babies uh, are a little pink. So, and they're fine. It's not bad to have them in there. They're helpers. So just going to keep turning things over. I was going to see if I could find a, a good baby worm in here for comparison. Not seeing any at the moment. Maybe we'll get to see one in the other bin. But these guys are doing good. I'm definitely going to keep keep the lid on a little bit more. Uh, since it is winter, have to uh, go get new bubble wrap. I, when I'm trying to keep the different species separate from each other, I don't really want to reuse things that could have been used uh, with other species. So I'm going to have to get them something else to uh, cover it to keep the moisture uh, going in here. All right, let me go get the next bin. Here is the bin that we're hoping to recruit worms from to start our new bin. And here is a brand new, maybe a couple days old, uh, red wiggler cocoon. I always try and point those out. I know when people first start worm farming, they have a hard time seeing them. So whenever I find them, I try and pull them out so that you can see them up close, know what you're looking for. Now in here we fed, let me see, kiwis and banana. Let me go get a container to put these worms in when we grab them. Got my handy dandy uh, cottage cheese container, not affiliated with those individuals. So let's dig around. And you can see this is a lot closer to being finished, this bin. And I know I fed right in the middle because I did remember to look at the video this last time. So I, you know, knew where to find my recruits. So let's just slowly reveal what we've got here. Oh, that's a good size. Yep. Lots more worms in this bin than in the other bin. So let's toss them in there. I usually find that one of these containers is about a pound. So we'll set that off to the side and see how they're doing with this feeding. So there still seems to be a very good amount of worms here. Um, I think because they've got quite a bit of slow food here, I think they might need a little boost of their food. So we are going to give these guys a little bit more food. 
and then we will use these guys maybe maybe a little bit more a little bit more and we'll use these guys to start our new bin today all right let's get all the old food and put it in the corner pocket that way when we look in it next time we'll know the difference between what we had in there already and what the new food is so just kind of put that in the pocket banana stems just kind of flipping through here oh we seem to have some more interested parties here sorry guys you're not going to the new house because you're staying in the old house maybe next time so there is still a good concentration of worms in here maybe I should grab a few more actually think I'm probably going to need to start looking at when we harvest this. This is getting pretty finished here. I wouldn't really want to add a whole lot more new bedding to this because it is in a really good condition. So let's just flip it all around here and then we can put some new food in here. All right, so there we go. They have a nice piece of heirloom pumpkin, thanks to Cece. Uh, this is a, a Dickinson pumpkin. This is not a jack-o'-lantern like you buy, you know, at the store. This is meant for cooking. Uh, just they did too well this year and she had too many so they are going to get a very nice treat so let's cover them up kind of mound that up make sure it doesn't get any visitors make sure the old food is tucked in and that's one of the ways that you really do prevent pest is to make sure that the fresh food that might attract flies um, is really well covered with not fresh food all right, let's go get my prepared bin. Well, camera quit for a little bit, but I put the pumpkin in, and here are the captured worms that are volunteered to go into the new bin. I think it's about a pound. You guys can let me know in the comments below, do you think it's a pound? Um, but they should be happy with their pumpkin. Um, and like I said, I, I put like three pieces of good sized pumpkin in here. It's not been frozen. So it should take them a little bit longer to get into it because it was not frozen. Um, but here we go, about a pound of worms, give or take. Put the comments below, do you think, did I get a whole pound? All right, well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.